now that we've gotten that out of the way, we can move on to patterns and prints and textures and everything revolving around color. And, your season. and it's not as easy as you might think. That's true. So and you're going to walk away with some really good information, some insider information that you can impress people with. Mm -hmm. So I know a little while ago, you gave a tip on how to look at patterns and kind of see what the overall theme was. And you mentioned, yeah, yeah you kind of mentioned making your vision a little blurry eyed towards the pattern and kind of getting the overall color. Which I can do like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. It's super easy for you. <laughs> But it's more than that. I mean, that was kind of a quick little tip, but it's a little more complicated than that because each season has its own characteristics mm -hmm. that that you need to embrace as much you as much as you say, oh, I'm a winter mm -hmm. or I'm a summer. There are certain characteristics that you must embrace along with your season. For example, if you're a winter, you must also learn that you're clear and high contrast high contrast mm -hmm. and cool. And if you are an autumn, you must learn that you are soft and warm, mm -hmm. like Sarah, soft and warm. Mm -hmm. If you are a summer, you need to learn that you're somewhat powdery, you're, you're muted and you're cool. And if you're spring, you need to learn that you're warm and bright. And this will help you choose your patterns moving forward and you'll be, you'll be able to do it like a pro. Mm -hmm. So I guess I should probably bring up those slides for us just to visualize. So when you're talking about winter and summer, we have winter on the left and summer on the right. So imagine if you're in winter, you have, you have black hair with no red or gold highlights. You have dark brown hair, no red or gold highlights. So the contrast is, and in its heat, it's dark hair. The contrast between your hair and your skin tone, or just in general, your contrast is intense. It's high contrast. So when you're choosing patterns, like for your Mac, um, what you want to do is choose a pattern that has high contrast. And of course, you know, all of you know if you tune in with us regularly, that if you're a winter, you're a full season. So mm -hmm. as you're looking at these patterns, you look for something that's got cooler colors in it, and you look for something that's got high contrast. Mm -hmm. And then for someone like me, if I'm looking for a, a mask <laughs> or whatever, a blouse, um, I'm gonna look for low contrast. Because if you look at the contrast between my hair and my face and my eyes, it's all kind of not contrasting. It's just kind of muted all together. Mm -hmm. Or as we like to say, it's, it's grayish, grayish. So I'm going to look for, as a summer, a low of something that's cool and low contrast. Mm -hmm. All right. So just one last time, our high contrast is the winter, which is on the left, and our low contrast is the summer, which is on the right. And both of these of them are cool. Mm -hmm. Yes, both of these are very cool. Now let's check out what happens to the warmer seasons. So now we're going to bring up spring and autumn. Okay, now I call this high, high, high contrast, but with the spring, you're, I, I like to say bright mm -hmm. for spring. It is high contrast, it's a little contrast here than the autumn, which is soft, but I like, I like to call it bright because the spring, even though it's warm, your choices are brighter. They're, um, they're more colorful than the autumn choices, which are not, not colorful they're just lower in contrast they're more muted they're softer yeah. and if you look at sarah and then look at the low contrast slide you see that that's kind of indicative of what you, the her right right remember the goal is to harmonize the entire look together so that low contrast really harmonizes with my hair color with my eyes with my skin tone and it also being warm now, I want to mention one last time, on the left, we have our spring, which is high contrast, and on the right, we have our autumn, which is low contrast. And then both of these are warm seasons. So you have that warm pink for the almost coral or salmon. -y. Coral salmon, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, on the spring side, and then you have that rust terracotta color on the right. Sarah's favorite. Which is gorgeous. I absolutely <laughs> love it. I could wear that in green all day long. <laughs> I know. I know it. 
So I want to make sure everyone that has the chance to look at these two slides just to kind of get the visual. And um, for you professionals among us, those of you who are color analysts, as always, we make these available to you at no charge. Of course, I will leave them in the comments down below when we hop off. But let's move on to looking at different patterns for this season. So I think the first one we did was a winter. Mm -hmm. So let me grab the winter for us to take a look at. Now, these are going to be patterns and textures that are strictly winters. And I had great fun putting these together um, because it, I got to shop in my mind for those uh, friends and family that I know who are winters. Mm -hmm. And um, in doing so, and it, it, I have to tell you, I'm playing around with the mask idea in my mind. You know, what, would, what, would, what can they wear? Mm -hmm. So our winters, one of the, the classic winter combinations that they can pull off that nobody else can is a black and white, a black and white pattern at any time. And that yeah. is very contrasting, high mm -hmm. contrast and, um, and ideal for the winter season. Mm -hmm. And um, as I was looking at that, I thought, okay, so what about bandana? If I were choosing a bandana for a winter person, uh, and I went with this berry. And I know that winters can wear like a, a fire engine red, but mm -hmm. I thought this would be warm up. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and, and you see really bold contrast. And then in the patterns, the patterns are high contrast. See, they're mm -hmm. color and they're deep color and light color and vivid color. Mm -hmm. And then on the lower left hand um, side, I wanted to do something that was strictly color and not. Um, it doesn't have a lot of contrast with the fact that the colors are so different. Mm -hmm. Like that, um, there's like a hot pink color in there next to that vivid bold blue. That yeah. creates contrast too. I mean, technically it's not contrast, but it is. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, there's a lot of pull back and forth. Right. And of course, um, I chose kind of a fun, whimsical, uh, very high contrast uh, combination of mm -hmm. color. And another thing I was just thinking about is also silver. So if there's silver in a pattern, you kind of get that a lot. When manufacturers kind of just try to spice it up a little, they always add some type of jewel tone. So silver, if you see silver in there, that's also a cool season. Mm -hmm. so that's kind of like a tale, a telltale. Yes. All right. So now that we've gone to winter, I'm going to hop on over to summer. So you can kind of see the difference between the winter and the summer, but both of these seasons are very cool. So let me go. The winter was high contrast. Mm -hmm. Now we go to low, low contrast. I don't want to say it that way because it sounded like we went from energy to dull. No, no, mm -hmm. no. There's a sophistication in the winter palette that I love. Mm -hmm. And when we say low contrast, that's good. That's fine. It's beautiful. Well, look how gorgeous these patterns are. I love all of these different patterns. Me too. Yeah. And the idea is you can wear any color if you're a winter, but you just want it to be a little bit more powdery. Um, and all of these were ones that I would that that I put together for this. I would wear this in a mask. I would wear this in a blouse. Mm -hmm. um, quick, quick correction. This is the summer palette. Sorry, not the winter. This is. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say winter? <laughs> Accidentally, but it's okay. It is the summer palette, and um, and what you don't see is that vivid contrast. Yeah. Oh. Yes. And mm -hmm. it kind of just calms me down. It's very. I will honestly. I love all of these. I think they're all gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I so, love and it makes it easy for you to kind of envision them on someone of my hair color or mm -hmm. uh, someone with blacks and blonde hair, no red or gold highlights. Um, it, it, what can I say? Mm -hmm. I could see you in all of these patterns too. Like I love all of these. They all look so good on you. For every summer out there. So any of you summers out there, think in terms of patterns that do not have a lot of contrast mm -hmm. and um, that are soft. Mm -hmm. That's your buzzword for summers. Think soft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love this. These are gorgeous. I absolutely love these patterns. I kind of want them. Can we turn them into autumn versions? Well, why don't we look at the autumn versions and see what we have there? And you know, I was well. You want you left this Can we go back? Oh yeah. I was gonna say now, if I fell in love with the one in the upper right, see any of these for you, 
I could, if that one you could wear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the blue and green one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that one kind of bridges across the two warm seasons because it, mm, yeah, it, it or, but between the two soft seasons, I'm sorry. Right, right, because it is soft, but you know, it has some very neutral blues and greens going on there. You know what's crazy? We have the same color eyes, mm -hmm. and our eye color is picked up in that color. Right, right. Watch. So, uh, yeah, you can have that one, but that's the only one. <laughs> I know. Why can't I pull off that bottom right with the strawberries? Those are so cute. Well, it, because I think it, it, you need just a little more warmth. It, it is it, the the berry is watermelon, and and everybody can kind of wear watermelon. Mm -hmm. But I think I would like to see just a hint more warmth. And I'll yeah. make it for you. I'll make a swatch for you. Well, you know, I did your trick where I blurred my eyes and I tried to see what that in the bottom right, the color that really shows out. And it's that soft, pale blue, which really just makes that a summer. And yeah, and it leans toward gray, which is that on your complexion. Right, right. So it it's absolutely gorgeous print, but it's definitely very, very cool, everything about it. And when I do that kind of trick, the blur blurring your vision trick, I mean, all of these, like I have that background coming through with the pinks, also showing those pastel soft mm -hmm. colors. So that's- I'm, I have a funny story about work mm -hmm. um, and the blurring of the eyes. Because mm -hmm. this is my job. I do this all day long. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. And Sarah, you do the same thing. But mm -hmm. I am a big fan of the blurry eye trick as I'm composing and creating. And so I think at least twice a week, the CEO of the company walks in the office and what does he say? what's wrong with your eyes oh. and, what, uh, you know what's wrong with your eye and i've been doing this for at that company for 20 years with the one eye closed and the oh lid. yeah yeah, yeah. He says do you have a problem with your eye is there something going on uh-huh that's nah, just what we do yeah you definitely have that artist thing where you always close one eye and your, your other one starts twitching and you <laughs> <lose it closer. laughs> so you do do that i've definitely oh, seen it yeah, no. but yeah. When, when things get serious, when you close one eye and your other one starts switching, that's when you know some serious color business is going on. <laughs> all right, so we were just talking about being soft, all those soft colors and the soft. And cool. We've dealt with both the cool seasons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now I'm going to stick with the soft, but we're going to switch over to warm. So this is going to be our autumn colors right here. Who can wear these? All of these greens I love. I love these warm, like terracotta, corally kind of. Oh, they're all so gorgeous. I love them. So now I, I'm picking up a lot of greens in all of these. That's kind of like the overall theme I see. And when I do go a little blurry, I notice the oranges and the corals in the top left. So I'm really getting that from that print. But if I move over to the right, that one leaf in that middle, that soft green that's mm -hmm. a little bit lighter, that's what's really showing through. But I noticed that there's also some black and white in the pattern. Well, I did that on purpose because <laughs> even though you're a soft season, mm -hmm. in your patterns, if you notice, you can actually wear a little bit like if you look at mine, I'm a soft season. There was no depth. It was just soft kind of across the board. Mm -hmm. If you have more depth of color, that means you can have more depth in your patterns. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that I illustrated something that mm -hmm. showed kind of a foreground and a background because mm -hmm. with your coloring, the fact that you've got so much of it, um, you get a little more depth. Mm -hmm. You're allowed a little more depth. For example, the lower left, that pattern, it's almost not a pattern, it's a color. Right. So, it, and a, a color that's beautiful on you, don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but, um, it doesn't have a variety. It doesn't have that variety that the others do. It doesn't have the depth, but sometimes that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, um, what about if a print has other colors that are in a different palette? Uh, the uh, the blurry eye trick is the trick. Um, and I, I deliberately didn't choose um, prints that had a variety. And you know what? They're hard to find because once you become attuned to this, Mm -hmm. You are not likely to find patterns mm -hmm. that have a bunch of various seasons in them because things, even fabric designers want something to be harmonious. Mm -hmm. so let me give you a great example. Um, leopard 
is a great example. You'll see all sorts of leopard and all sorts of colors, but inevitably they tend to live in their own color family. Mm -hmm. And you don't see a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they kind but, of. But if you do, um, if you do, it's like um, a great example is Burberry. Mm -hmm. scarves, right? Yeah. So Bur if you go on the Burberry website and you look at their scarves, you know, they're two thousand dollar scarves. So, mm -hmm. you know, somebody has put some time into the colorway for the, for these scarves. It's a perfect example because they are all seasonally appropriate. Mm -hmm. And rarely would you see uh, a palette like any of these um, that I have here for autumn with a magenta thrown. Or just imagine my shirt color thrown into any of these. What would happen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I immediately think those soft colors that we just saw, um, like that soft blue kind of thrown in would stand out like a sore thumb, you know? Well, they do. They do. Mm -hmm. and, and it's kind of like, it's almost like for the most part, and and I'm talking about high-end clothes here. I mean, you could you can find some low-end pattern. Um, but when when the color, people who are designing the patterns know what they're doing, you tend to see them of a piece in, you know, in the same color thing. And all of those colors harmonizing together. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, that's the goal. You want that harmony and you want it to be able to work with everything you've got naturally. So, so I don't know that I answered your question appropriately because I got off on a tangent <laughs> about my feelings about people designing fabrics and adding them in, in the right color. But what I will tell you is if you see a, a pattern that you absolutely love, and it's all over the place. It's got colors from every season and it's just a hodgepodge and you know, it's a Jackson Pollock thing, whatever. Um, the thing is to make sure that you find a predominant color in that pattern that either flatters your hair or flatters your eye color. Mm -hmm. And then inevitably you likely won't make a mistake mm -hmm. or go find a pattern that has the colors from your audio or your cup color fan or your digital color palette. Mm -hmm. Let's face it, at the end of the day, that's what's going to make it a mm -hmm. All right, so done with autumns, and our last season is going to be the springs, which are high contrast. and bright. They're high <laughs> contrast and warm. <laughs> I I was, right? yeah. You guys know it's warm, it's bright. <laughs> All right, here we go. Once again, right there, warm and bright, boom. And these are so... I really tend to see these patterns. This is the spring palette, but I really tend to see these patterns spring and summertime. So right now I am this palette right here, I see everywhere. Uh, yeah, maybe. Um, it, and it, yeah, like for example, lower right hand corner, that green is a spring green. Mm -hmm. it, nobody wears that color better than a spring. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm like. And it looks so good on a spring. If you're debating if you're a spring and you can wear kind of like that yellow green, oh, it's such a good color on you and only springs can wear it. Now, it, uh, in the upper left-hand corner, this one's kind of fun because I thought about doing this with lemons, mm -hmm. but the lemons look kind of silly on the blue because the, if this is um, this is a complementary color scheme. Remember last time we talked about complementary color schemes and how um, if you look at all the different uh, like colleges, if their colors are complementary color schemes, mm -hmm. like Auburn, mm -hmm. this is Alabama, Clemson, I don't know. I don't know that stuff. But um, red and green, blue and orange, purple and yellow, complementary color schemes. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking it, it could be done very easily to put the lemons in there. And then if, if it was a lemony, kind of an acetic yellow, Winters could wear it. Yeah, that would be a beautiful print on a winter if it was a, the actual lemon yellow, not a golden yellow, but not an acetic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be gorgeous on a winter. So then I thought maybe I could do that for the winter, but I didn't want to because I thought this was so much better for spring. It does look, I really love that pattern. Honestly, it's gorgeous. I really love that. And it's so just talking about how one slight little change could move that entire pattern to a different season. So it's kind of mind blowing how, you know, just one little tweak or one little color change and that whole pattern would shift to a different season. 
Well, the upper right hand corner is a perfect example. If the background color went from off white to a pure white and maybe shifted a little toward what I'm wearing. Uh huh. I think, yeah, I think those leaves that are on that, that orange leaf might yeah, be a little warm. Uh huh. Maybe go um, like a gray or something along those lines. That would be gorgeous on a summer. So, as you can see, it's not really the pattern per se, it's the, the contrast with it. Oh, and this is the bottom left hand corner. Um, and I pop that in because springs is a season of you get so many blues. For being a warm season, you just get to rock so many blues. And I wanted to show something that shows that where you veer off from a, a true blue toward a teal because that is lovely. For you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All these patterns are gorgeous. So if you're a spring out there, just remember, look at these bright, bold patterns that are warm. That so you can find in your color palette. Mm -hmm. Because for example, springs, you guys are the only guys who get a light orange in your color palette. Mm -hmm. um, when Sarah, when she goes for orange, she has to move for a pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely has to go deeper. So springs get that bold, bright orange, and then autumns have to move a bit deeper to get more of that pumpkin-y or rust color to really make it softer on our season. But how fun is this? I mean, just, and I think it's important because we we provide you with a tool, mm -hmm. your color palette. But who really understands that when you go out there shopping, you know, you don't want to be in solid colors all the time. Mm -hmm. I, love, I love a a nice print, particularly in the spring and summer, you gotta have some prints in the, in the winter and the autumn. Yeah, I guess you can go kind of solid, mm -hmm. but you gotta have some prints, mm -hmm. and it's the kind of print that you choose. Mm -hmm. That you know, is I was just thinking it might be fun to bring up all four prints on the screen so everyone can get an idea. You can do that too, but can't you only do three? Let's see. We're about to find out. All right, I'm gonna get rid of me. <laughs> I'm going to grab the other warm season to show, and then I'm going to get rid of you, <laughs> and then I'm going to show our summer and Ooh. then our winter. So, oh, there we go. Yay, bravo, Sarah, bravo, Sarah. So on our top left, we have our spring. On the top right, we have autumn. On the bottom left, we have summer. Bottom right, we have winter. And the bottom right, we have winter. All right, so now this is just kind of a quick look at all of them together so you can get an idea. But I'm gonna throw a question out to the audience. And the question is, based on your preferences for these patterns, would you be able to determine your season or someone's season? <laughs> I Honestly, I am really loving the summer patterns. But <laughs> I really, so there's, I guess there's two in the summer that I really love, which is that blue green one and the one with the strawberries. Now I think the strawberry one is just too cute. So that's the reason why I really love the strawberry one, but that blue green pattern in the summer palette, it has to be one of my favorites. Granted, if I was going to get ready, I would probably do the top right in the autumn color. To be honest, like if I had to pick one to throw on the first, that would be the color for me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would have put you in the bottom, the bottom right of the autumn palette. <laughs> I would wear a lipstick that orange. So I knew you I knew you would. And now, if I if I was going to choose a pattern for you though, I would either do the strawberry pattern that I love, probably because I think it's just so cute and I think it's awesome. But also the summer out of the summer square, the top left with the leaves, the purple, the pink, the mm -hmm. uh, the light lavender. That like yeah. stone color background that would look gorgeous on you. I love that. Um, what we can do in a future video is I'll take the one that you love so much with the berries, and I will seasonalize that particular pattern um, and create a version for winter, a version for summer, a version for autumn, and a version for spring. Because nothing is more illustrative than seeing these kind of things up against each other. Mm -hmm. Like for example, what we know is that there are two seasons that are the boldest of the seasons, two seasons that can pull a lot of contrast. And that's the spring and the winter. Mm -hmm. And they're two seasons that are softer in terms of their overall contrast. And that's the summer and the spring. 
And I think you can see that here very easily. Mm -hmm. Quick correction, summer and autumn. <laughs> right, do that again. Man, you know, I think I've been home too long because I got, I got winter wrong a little while ago. Well, don't worry about it because I do it all the time. Now, what I wanted to do is grab the high and the low contrast. So we can take a look at that as well versus um, cool and warm. So on the left, you have our two warm seasons and on the right, you have our two cool seasons. Now, from left to right, we have spring, autumn, winter, and then summer. Now, would, could you choose your season based on your preference here? Absolutely. What looks the most like your wardrobe? Okay. Yes, I could absolutely do that. Being in autumn, I love, love, love that rust color. I gravitate straight towards it. What about you? Well, yeah, I could because anything that has a grayed out kind of, um, that it, that's grayed on the spectrum, it's almost like in my world, when I'm choosing color for myself, I look for something that has had a bit of a dusting of powder on it, you know, across the board something that's that where the vividness or the sharpness in my case if i were to wear that high contrast print i would look washed out i would look mm -hmm. pale in comparison to that print mm -hmm. and so i look for something that's not going to swallow me up and make me look washed out mm -hmm. what about everyone watching i'd love to hear if you gravitate towards your season's print or if you gravitate towards a different one yeah and if you tell us what your favorite print is and send us a picture, that could be fun too. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all tend to gravitate at a little bit, I would say. Not a ton, but a little bit towards but what we look. We certainly know that we all make mistakes mm -hmm. uh, in terms of our palettes. And I, Lord knows, uh, I've been doing a lot of cleaning out, as you, you know. And uh, I'm, I'm seeing things that were in my closet. And I was like, and, and I know better. Yeah. You know, it's not like, I, oh, I made that before I got my palette. You know, I, I know better. And uh, I did it. And, and, you know, we all need to be cautious of it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we'll end up with stuff we have to throw away, mm -hmm. recycle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. COVID has really made us clean out, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I got an interesting little perspective um, from the people, some of my the moms in our neighborhood, they talk. And um, it, they were telling me that they've gone to the area thrift stores. And we have great thrift stores around here, which I love. Mm -hmm. And um, their donations are so backed up that they have container loads of them. And some of them were just sitting outside in the rain and getting destroyed. And because they their donations are so uh, overwhelming right now that they haven't been able to manage them. Oh, that's so hard to hear. Oh man. Especially since we love to recycle. Yeah, that's too bad. Well, sad to hear that, but- Here's donations. I know, now- Here's to the end of COVID-19. Now I need to stop cleaning up my house, apparently. <laughs> you gotta get a storage unit until your donations can be meaningful. True. So I do have, a, let's see, a couple comments. So you're in autumn, but you like the high contrast. Hey, some well, you, you saw that in your autumn palette, it's a little, we call it a soft season, but you can pull off a little bit more contrast than mm -hmm. uh, a spring. I mean, I'm sorry, than a summer. Right. And then share towards her own. Yep. We always tend to lean a little towards the colors that happen to be in our palette. And honestly, sometimes if we're having a hard time, um, like doing color analysis online and just talking to people if they can't send us an image or something along those lines. One of the questions that we ask is, you know, what are your favorite colors? What do you gravitate towards? And people a lot of the time tend to gravitate towards their season. They just weren't able to put all of the pieces together. And we also, last um, our last video we did for you guys, I think it was last Wednesday, we did tiebreakers. Mm -hmm. Because there are certain colors in every season that only that people in that season can rock, can mm -hmm. just, you know, look gorgeous in. And one of them that I always like to throw out there for people who don't know if they're an autumn or a spring, they say, oh, do you have red or blue highlights in your hair? And they'll say, yes. And then I'll say, well, is your hair dark on the dark side or is it light, blonded? Mm -hmm. And they say, it's not really either. And, and so they don't give us any clues there. And I always throw out the olive. Can you wear 
solid. Mm -hmm. It's it always works because people who, the, the rare people who can wear olive are yeah. Yeah. which right. I am. <laughs> and um, and the same is true with the, you know the as a tiebreaker between winters and summers. You know whether they can wear the light gray and and inevitably winters are like oh no it's just it's kind of drab on me mm -hmm. and the summers go yeah I love it. <laughs> And then the autumns are like, uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> you keep your gray. Yeah, enjoy that gray. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy my mustard and my greens and my red. Every room in your home is gray. Well, I haven't, I haven't painted yet. So. And what color did you paint your bedroom? I um, I did, what color is it? Sherwin-Williams. Um, repose? No, it's warmer than Repose. It was. But it's gray. It's gray, but it's a gray. It's gray, but it's a very warm gray. It's about as warm as you can get to in gray. It's what mm -hmm. agreeable gray. That's what it is. It's agreeable gray, and it has, you know, if you want to take a look at a warm versus a cool kind of gray, look at agreeable gray versus repose gray. And one is a bit cooler, and one's a bit warmer. So, but I will just repeat what I said before. You so rudely contradicted me. Every room in your house is gray, and the one feature. And the one feature wall that you have is blue. Yep. I do have, and it's a cool blue. It's not a warm blue. It's a very cool blue. Yeah, so I do have a warm blue. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of, well, I guess my green in my living room is a very warm green. So it's it's getting a bit warmer in my living room. I am warming it up, I would say. Mm -hmm. So don't be dissing on my gray. I'm <laughs> just saying. If, if beige, like if, or rust, if I could paint my entire house rust or green, I would. It's just, it's too dark for that. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So if anyone has any questions out there for uh, patterns or high contrast versus low contrast. We'll make sure you get them all. Yep. We'll send all of these images towards you. You can also comment down below. If you want to know what your season is, feel free to send us a message and send us an image in natural lighting of yourself. We do have to see you in natural lighting. Um, you can send that on over. We'd be happy to help. And um, I guess that's everything for what I know. Time. I don't want to let him go. Yeah. It, just let us know if you guys have any other questions. We'd be happy to help you out. But I'm going to grab my wine, finish drinking yeah. it. We're leaving, Scott. Lunch um, break. Yeah. So cheers to the wine about it. Cheers. There. Ding, ding. Wait. You flipped it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Oh, I know you're still going. All right. So we'll see everyone on Monday for It's a Beautiful Monday. So have a fabulous weekend and we'll talk to you later.